If I won fifty million dollars, I would travel around the world: Hawaii, Japan, Italy, Spain. <sighs> Hi, students! Welcome to my channel. As you can see by my little introduction, today we're talking all about the second conditional. We're going to look at how to make the second conditional and then when to use the second conditional with plenty of examples and pictures to help you feel confident when using the second conditional. Now, if you haven't seen my videos on the first and zero conditional, I will link the playlist up here so you can watch those after this video. All right, let's begin. Let's go. Now, to form the second conditional, we would take if plus the past simple in the if clause and would or any other modal verb plus the infinitive in the main clause. Now, typically, you would use the modal verb would, but you can also use other modal verbs such as could or might, for example. Now let's go back to that sentence that we looked at at the very beginning of this video. If I won $50 million, I would travel around the world. Here, if I won $50 million would be in the if clause, and this would be the condition. And I would travel around the world would be in the main clause, and this would be the result. And of course, the result depends on the condition. The condition would have to happen in order for the result to also happen. Now to summarize what I've just said, the if clause contains a condition or situation in the present or future, which must happen first. And the main clause contains the imagined results or consequences that depend on that condition happening first. Now, I have to say that many times when students are learning the second conditional, they will see that usually it would be if plus the past simple plus would plus the infinitive. And would is typically the modal verb that you would see for the second conditional. And yes, the majority of the times you're going to see examples of would, but remember, we can also use other modal verbs. Would would be used for something more definite and might would be used for a more possible result. So would definite result, might possible result. Now, as mentioned before, we use the second conditional with situations in the present or future that are unreal, unlikely, impossible, imaginary or hypothetical. Let's see some examples. So let's examine that first example that we spoke about before. If I won $50 million, I would travel around the world. Now, what are the chances that I win $50 million? I would say that they're almost impossible and definitely unlikely. So this would be a perfect example of the second conditional. Now let's say, hypothetically speaking, that I did win those $50 million. In that case, if that condition happened, then possibly I would travel around the world. But is it likely that this all happens? No, it's an unlikely situation. It's almost impossible. Yes, of course it can happen, but the chances are very slim. Now let's take a look at some other examples. If Mark won the lottery, he would buy a mansion with a pool. Is it likely that Mark wins the lottery? No. So the situation would be very unlikely. If I inherited a billion dollars, I would travel to the moon. What are the chances that me, Christina, inherits a billion dollars? <laughs> I would say that they're very slim. So again, this situation is an unlikely situation. And in case you're wondering, Christina, what is inherit? 
And here it would be, for example, let's say you had a grandfather that had lots of money, maybe he had a billion dollars. When he dies or passes away, that money maybe would go to you. So you would inherit that billion dollars. That's what that means. Now, if you've noticed in my first few examples, after the if clause, we always use a comma. But remember, if the order switches and I start with my result first and then my condition, that comma disappears. Let's take a look at an example like this. I would buy an island if I were Bill Gates. Am I Bill Gates? No, it is impossible for me to be Bill Gates or any other person other than myself. So this situation is very unlikely and it's definitely impossible. Now, if you've noticed in this last example, I use were instead of was. So always with the verb to be, use were instead with if I or if he, if she, if it, and that first clause. Although I have to say that some people do use was instead, this would be grammatically incorrect. So always in that second conditional, if you use I, he, she, it, use I were, he were, she were, it were. Now these last three examples were a lot crazier and wilder examples, but we can also use the second conditional with more regular, normal situations. Let me show you another example. If she studied harder, she would pass her exams. Now, she never studies, so this is very unlikely that she passes her exams because she never studies. Matt could buy a new computer if he had more money. But Matt never saves his money, so he never has money. Thus, he cannot buy a new computer. This situation is very unlikely. Now, I have a question for you. If you won the lottery, what would you do? Comment below, but you have to use a second conditional. All right, students, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget that I have a playlist on the conditionals with a video on the zero conditional and the first conditional. Alrighty, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. Mwah! Bye for now.